The table below shows the distance d of t in meters of an object over time t in seconds. So we have time t in seconds. We got 10, 13, 19. No pattern, no special order here, except that it is in order. And these just go down in some particular non-order either. It doesn't matter. So what we're trying to find is the average rate of change. Now, the general formula for average rate of change is f of b minus f of a over b minus a. Obviously, in this case, we don't have f's. We have d's. So this would be d of b minus d of a over b minus a. A and B are going to be these intervals, your A, your B. So your A and your B. What would be F of B, or in our case, D of B, and what would be F of A or D of A? Well, you would be D of A, and you would be D of B, because this is the result that we get for plugging in A and B, respectively. So D of B is 30, minus D of A is 76, all over B, which is 25, minus A, which is 13. So what is that? Negative 46 over 12, which simplifies out to they're both divisible by 2. So negative 23 over 6. And since this is a rate of change, it's going to be meters per second. So negative 23 over 6 meters per second which seems to match up with B. Average rate of change with a table. Different from when you have a function or when you have a graph. Uh, it's a little bit friendlier in this case. Just label things, plug stuff in, do a little bit of math, you're set.